Yeah, the beautiful sounds of Diana Angel Hamilton. She is a multiple award winning songstress at the uh, latest VGM and the VGM at 20, uh, 20 years. Well, she's joined us on Skype, the crossover now all the way to the UK. Diana, good morning. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? Congratulations. I'm fine. I'm greater than a crop. How did you? <laughs> How did you feel when your name was mentioned in that uh, tight category that you won the Gospel Song of the Year, the Gospel Artist of the Year? How did you feel? Do you know what? It's, um, it's like childbirth. You forget it after it's done. Now I can't quite remember how I felt, but um, um, the, the feeling was good. It's still good. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't believe I had one. Right. And then also, even though I had prayed about it, you know, when it happens, who did it actually happen? So that was, that's what it was at that particular time. I was excited, I was happy, I was humble, I still couldn't believe it was me. And so all I prayed was to be able to say the right things because I was um, over the moon at that time. I see. You, you said the right things, in my opinion, because you said, think, you said that, well, the overarching aim is to preach the gospel and not about the lures that come with preaching the gospel. So let's go out there and preach it. What would make you say a thing like that? Is it an indication that a lot more people are getting fixated on other things than preaching the gospel? Listen, um, the Bible says that the harvest is right by the workers of the So it means that no matter how many people we have, it's still not enough. Mm. And so those that have the opportunity to be able to go there those of us that have the platform and the need for people to listen to us. Mm -hmm. and, and that that room, you know, um, without any fact, I don't, these, these are not facts, these are just as mm. At least 40% of the people in that room okay. will have some kind of audience. Right. And then also the platform I stood on, mm. I, I didn't have to mess it up, if you get what I mean. There were right. a lot of people watching outside. That, so that that was that was the reason why. Mm. In Saint Trinity, is trending. We started the show with it this morning, and I, nearly. I, I, I said. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 it's it's trending already. It's in the churches. It's on the radio. It's on television. Mm -hmm. Why did you bring that song up? Share with us. So, in Saint Trinity, Funny enough, it's, it's on the album that got nominated. Right. Um, um, and it was part of the songs that I got. But mm. the, I, I got to a point in ministry, in life. Right. That one day I got up and I thought, you know what? There's so many miracles we've read about in the Bible mm -hmm. that look fictional. Okay. Which, you know, um, they look like, you know, yeah, th that was in that time. It can't mm. happen now. And then also there's the... God is here mm. and you can't feel it and you're thinking am I the only one in the room you know you can mm. you can be in a, in a service in a church in, in a meeting and like somebody's I can feel the spirit and and you're thinking I can't uh-huh so then I went to God I'm like God I don't want somebody to tell me you're here mm. I actually want to know you're here I want right. to feel you right in my room when no pastor is touching me mm. I want to be able to feel your authentic self you okay. know because there, there was the era where there was so much sin in the world and then god did noah and the ark and rip and, and, and rain and he redefined himself right then jesus era when he brought jesus then when he left he brought the holy ghost there's always a, a moment where god is redefining himself with right. us and i just thought father we are at a point where we need to experience you not because somebody says you're here mm -hmm. but that's because i can feel it right. right here in my and so i started asking god questions i started daring god i started mm. telling god let us feel you okay. not because i say so right. but because right now, i see you as an and so that was the prayer and then this song started coming mm. because then some things just don't make sense you okay. know and so in, in a part of the song i go why should um you know I, 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 this year we're here now right you know sometimes you're doing the right thing you think I'm, I'm i'm in the right books of god and then things don't work right for you but mm. then somebody 
is somewhere doing everything negative in our eyes right and things are beginning to go well for you for them okay. that mm. is when you know um a, a slave riding a horse whilst a prince is walking on that. that's right. a classical example of that so this is me telling god show your authentic self mm. grant us a, redefini a redefinition of yourself okay and what god is doing because now it's everybody's morning prayer right and you know i get a message somebody's like i'm in my room and i can feel the presence of god wow that, that wow was, you're in a church or you're in, you know, in a meeting of some sort. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Uh, very very thought-provoking. The, um, the Dinah Hamilton experience has come to stay. And if you, if you care to, to tilt down your computer screen a bit so we can see your face, right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Nice. Okay. So the Dinah Hamilton experience. Oh, okay, that's a tad too much. Let it go back a bit. Great. Awesome. So the Dinah Hamilton experience is, is come to stay. The production is tight. The, the audience are dragged along. And it's not just the performance. It's administration. Lives are touched. How do you do the trick? I wish there was a trick. Um, for me, if, if there is any trick, it's um, total, absolute reliance on God mm. um, in the first place, knowing that I can't do this by myself. And, and then also getting the right people around me mm. um, to make sure the job gets done. Mm. And um, early planning, um, yeah, I think. <laughs> Let's talk about family, combining family with work uh, and, and the musical career or ministration, the gospel. How difficult is it for you, a mother of two, I guess, uh, mm -hmm. a nurse, you have a husband to manage as well, and then you have you have your career to to take care of. How do you juggle all together and still uh, keep body and soul together? Good, good, good question. It's a million dollar one. Sometimes I wish I had at least thirty five hours in a day, not just twenty four. Sometimes ah, twenty four. Ah, ah, ah. But um, you know, when God gives you an assignment, He grants you resources. He grants mm. you help. And so for me, there's, if there's anything I ask God for, mm. it's help. It's, I'm like, God, grant me help. Bring me the right people. Bring the right people my way. And so I have a, I have a supportive husband. Okay. No two ways about that. Right. Very supportive. And I always get friends and family um, to help. Mm. Um, Work-wise, I'm not doing as many hours as I used to do. Okay. Um, a couple of years ago, I was singing when I had no work. Now I am working when I have no singing, mm. if you get what I mean. So I get it. it. It's less hours on work, Okay. Um, more in ministry. Mm. And so that's what I pray to God for. And it's been working I see. So how, how does your family respond to being in the public eye, the fame? Everybody wants a selfie, a photo. People are tweeting. People are WhatsApping, <laughs> you know, and all of that. How do they respond to it? So, so a lady, a lady met my sister one day and said to her, "Oh my goodness, your sister is so good. I'm so proud of her. My sister went like, so she's never met you, and you're so proud of her. So you can imagine how I feel. Right. Like those were, you right. know, she was like, you know, so you can imagine how I feel as a sister. Mm. And so, if there was anybody proud of me, um, it's my family, it's my right. sisters, my mom. My mom won't stop calling. Okay." Um, but and, you know, she she went to church on Sunday I see. in America. It was like, you're cool, you're cool. And, you know, so she's calling to, to tell me how happy she is. My kids are so happy. You know, they stayed up till about 12 o'clock midnight mm. to watch me last Saturday. And then when I called them Sunday morning, my girl was like, good morning, gospel artists of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I see. On that note, Diana, hold on for me a bit. Let me take you back to the VGMA stage when Dinah Hamilton was announced the Gospel Act of the Year and the Gospel Song of the Year winner. Take a look at this. Two, three, money, money, and it's a way salute to Dinah and Thank you. 
nominated you do hope to win but the feeling right now I cannot describe it it's surreal and I am grateful to the destiny changer the one that picks someone from the miry clay and sets their feet on a solid ground Papa this is to you to Ghana I say thank you to the Church of Pentecost that gave me a platform when I was very young hey. and hasn't refused me ever since. VGMA's proud moment, great moment for Dinah. She's still on uh, Skype now. Dinah go through the process. Okay. So before gold can be called gold, it has to go through a process. Right. And after you go through it, anybody that picks you up knows that you're a person of substance. Hmm. And so it's important that we serve. It's important that we learn. Okay. It's important that we go to school because you might have the voice. Somebody might tell you you're going to be great in the future, right. but you need everything that comes with it. Mm. David, before, you know, after the, he was prophesied upon to be a king, he still went back into the bush to go and be a shepherd. Right. And it took years before he became a king. Sometimes the moment we realize we've got a voice, we want to put on an album. It doesn't work that way. Right. Maybe you need to be a backing vocalist for someone. Mm -hmm. You need to serve in a church. You know, somebody has to bounce you and say, I won't produce you right. so that you have the glory. Mm. You know, so, so learn and um, learn from great people as well. We'll talk about money your next time when we have a conversation. But uh, let me be a rascal and ask you, why do you like to count one, two, three, four in your ah! songs? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't <laughs> So when we did Monio and I, I, I Monio was done somehow in absentia to start. Right. I had to sing it on a phone and send it to Kewa. Okay. God bless him so much. And so trying to let him get how I want it to go. Okay. I kind of sang, you know, like one, a two, a three. Okay. That's in the book compose. I had to sing it on the WhatsApp and uh -huh. send it to him. Now when I when I took it to him, he put a beat to it. And and you know what? It sounded great. Okay. Um but then People, some people said, oh, you free, Mo, don't do it. And Kima was like, no, nope, that would do the trick. Let's I just see. Go with it. And, and it worked. Go. And it worked. Congratulations one more time to you, and we celebrate you. We are proud of you, and keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that's it. Diana Aintree Hamilton, all the way in the United Kingdom, speaking to us here live on TV3 News.